Hello and welcome to this uh, build of Airfix's uh, Westland Whirlwind HAS 22. I'm about to paint it up with Humbrol 27, but I've managed to spill paint on my fingers, so just a second, I'll wipe that off. I didn't put the lid on top of the uh, airbrush, but I have now. Okay. So what I've done is, it's this Humbrol uh, 27, yeah. I've uh, thinned it down with some water and some uh, surgical spirit. And it, and it, Seems to be struggling to come through the airbrush, so we'll just pull the needle back a little bit. That's better. Okay, so we need to paint the inside of the cockpit. parts to fit better because they didn't idly fit, fit fitted correctly I've cut them up that I've glued already glued that piece in I'm just uh, just trimmed the edges off on this and I'm just gonna glue it in now with a bit of smear extra thin uh, rapid setting I also trim the edges a bit as well, so they're not fouling with each other, if you know what I mean. So that's fitting a lot better at the now. Because they, they were joined, it weren't fitting well at all, that one. And they're a bit naff as they are, that these windows, you know what I mean? And I don't, I'm not sure if this one fits at all. Oh yeah, that's a good fit now, that one. You see the uh, glue shoot round then. Okay. So uh, I'm a lot happier with that now, with them. But like I said, still naff. And they've been dipped in clear as well, so unless my clear is going off. <laughs> okay, so I've uh, glued got the cockpit in to one side of the uh, airframe, and the instructions say it needs six grams, five, oh, five grams of weight. Well, this has got about eight. Put some white tack in. So I know it just needs gluing up. Okay. Yeah. That 
That's a bit ropey, isn't it? Okay. So I'll get this glued up. Okay, so a bit of t put a bit of tape on. I'll uh, go along and do the rest of it. We'll get some tape ready to go on the uh, fuselage. Right. Yeah, uh, helicopter is now ready for paint. I've uh, glued all the parts on that I want to glue on. Because you get a better, you know, glue plastic to plastic is better connection. Um, Nearly all the seam lines I've uh, given, uh, what do you call it, a sprue goo, and then sanded it. So hopefully all the seams will be okay. Um, this part, the exhaust, that had a uh, really nasty ejector pin right there, so I filled that uh, with a Vallejo plastic putty and sanded it. I've drilled a, slight, a tiny hole in it to give it the impression of an exhaust. <clears throat> There's not many paint, but not many items to paint on it. To be honest, the two wheels and the tailplane rotor. That's there, there, there. That's the fuselage. And that's the spindle for the rotor, and that's the cover for the spindle on the on the back. And I've uh, glued all the rotor together and it's got a, like a, they point downwards. So, I'm going to uh, give them a prime in Vallejo, Vallejo Black Primer. It's a lot easier this stuff, it's better than the grey I think. And then we'll get on to the main colours. Okay, so uh, the helicopter's been sprayed black with Vallejo black primer. Um, it needed a little bit of filter there, but I've uh, sorted that out. So we need to paint it white, eh? Well, paint the top part white. And for that, I'm going to use Tamiya XF2. <coughs> get the airbrush prepared and we'll uh, be right back. Painted the uh, 
White now. Okay, I, uh, after that first coat of matte white, I used Tamiya X2 gloss white, and it's now quite got a second coat on, and it's nice and white now. So we need to get some masking done, and then I can spray the yellow for the tips of the uh, these stabilizers and the and the um, rotor blades, and then we can mask that off and do the green do the green on the body so that's the next thing to do the kit on the um painting is done for this kit now uh the green went on uh let's do a few touch-ups on the white you can see the uh yellow tips uh the wheels and the rear rotor blade, they're all painted up. And the main rotor is painted up. In perfect, is recommended colours. So, on the next thing to do is to do the uh, transfers and if you've seen my videos before, what I do is I cut out all the uh, transfers as it says and then put them on. Okay, so I'll just get on with it. I'll just cut some transfers out now and we'll get on with it. So there we have it, the completed Westland Whirlwind HAS 22. Uh, this was made under license from Sikorsky, where in America it was called the Chickasaw. And helicopters, after the Second World War, helicopters developed at quite a rapid pace. And I think Westland decided this was something that the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force might be interested in. So they got a license for it and they built it. Um, the first British built prototype flew in 19, August 1953. And it entered service with the Royal Navy in July 1954. And the particular aircraft modelled was flown by 781 Naval Squadron out of uh, Leon Solent in Hampshire, England, 1961. Now uh, this tooling, I'll just, uh, we'll get the uh, turntable moving. Now this tooling is from 1956, uh, which is the year I was born. So it's as old as I am, 66 years old. Um, well, it could be 67 now because we're in 2023, but yeah, it's but it to be honest, it went together well. Although, in some parts, it's crude compared to modern kits, but yeah, it did go together well. I uh, didn't have to do much filling, just sanding the seams, and I tried not to sand off too much of the raised detail. On the whole, I've enjoyed really enjoyed making it. Um, the transfers by Airfix are just uh, excellent quality. Uh, you can't fault them. Every transfer that was supplied is on that uh, is on that uh, helicopter. Um, other than that, what can I say? It's been painted totally with a to me a paint, except for the interior colour and the top of the rotors, which is Humbrol One Six Five Light Grey. Anyway. Yeah, I really, like I said, I really enjoyed making it. Oh, 